Hi guys, welcome to your next 48 tarot card reading. This is going to be for Pisces. I hope you're doing fantastic. So let's see what the cards say. What are the energies coming in for you? Okay, coming in for Pisces for the 15th and the 16th. Angels of the pure white light. What are the messages here coming in for Pisces? What do they need to see or acknowledge? What do they need to see or acknowledge for Pisces? Okay, Seven of Cups. Um, confusion or a very complex decision that you have to make. Confused or overwhelmed. It's the energy of Neptune. And we have something here about a long-term commitment, family, wealth, legacy, long-term commitments. We have here the energy of justice. You want something to be fair, just, and balanced. There's a nine of swords. There's something here that could be making you feel very stressed out as of recently. Uh, we have the energy of an eight of pentacles. Working very hard, focusing on... The details of a situation, five of swords. Somebody here could be critical. We have you getting a lot of attention, though. Six of wands, Leo energy. So you're actually getting a lot of attention from other people. There's a queen of coin around you, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Or that's how people see you. They see you as generous and kind and good with money. Your fear is that you're going to just have all this, all these responsibilities and no support. It could also be you're afraid that you'll have to move, physical movement. Page of Pentacles is here. Earth sign, child, or a message you're receiving um, about a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Okay, so what do we have here for the Page of Pentacles? Okay, Empress on the bottom. What is the Page of Pentacles about? Somebody offering you a coin or it's a earth sign a six yeah so it's somebody who's offering you help or you're helping someone giving you something of value a gift the judgment is here it could be something that is being raised up it could be a favorable outcome in a court decision here the sun card on the bottom happiness joy great success so we have a transformation, we have a rejuvenation of a situation. Um, it could be at school. Eight of Pentacles can be a school or work. Now, there's a victory here, but there could also be a person who really stresses you out, like a lot. Okay, so let's see. What is this Five of Swords? Okay, so you're going to get some payment or you're going to get some generosity from someone who is being kind of like nasty what is this queen of pentacles the empress could be dealing with a mother a parent um it could also be your energy okay page of wands what is the six of wands? Wow, so there's the victory and the judgment and the star. So something is going to be in your favor. This is about um, the judgment is about a positive outcome. Something that is transformed in a positive way for you. Okay, so eight of pentacles. Where you get to put the past behind you, you get to have a spiritual renewal, a total regeneration. 
Eight of Pentacles. Some of you are going to be single or you, there's an earth sign around you who's single. What is the justice? Magician. Somebody who manipulates. And the Emperor. Wow, with the Ten of Air. Could be a father or father figure. Ten of Air is like this situation was really difficult, stressful, and it's going to be over. There's going to be some healing here. The Fool card on the bottom, all burdens will be lifted. So there's a fresh start, a new journey, optimism and hope because of this divine timing as well, because of the major transformation of the judgment. Let me just, the judgment is almost when you're at the end of the tarot. It's like you've gone through everything, you've tried everything, you've done everything, and then there's going to be a reward for you. It's a turning point, a wake-up call, undeniable change, um, an evolution, a metamorphosis, a new reality, um, tectonic plate shift, um, the ultimate wake-up call, your life won't be the same. Uh, so it's um, a regeneration. Something is renewed here. Everything will be changed because of this positive outcome. There's going to be the judgment and the star. So let's see what the star. Hold on, please. Hold, stop it. Okay. So the star is the calm after the storm. It's a healing, a renewal, ultimate peace, um, invoking clarity and vision. But also, to me, it's purification. It's calm and peace after something is over. Um, an emotional breakthrough. It's inspiration, new beginnings, having hope for the future because of this big change, positive change. Okay. What are the energies here for Pisces? Come to the edge. This is when something is like very stressful. And then we have not for you with the fortune cookie that says nope. Because it means you don't want to play the games. This is like a game of chess. Wait. Come here, come here. Sorry guys. Out to sea. This is to me a sea change, like something changing. Clean it up. Regeneration, renewal. Maybe improving your health between worlds, going from the darkness into the light. The never-ending story. There could be something that just keeps happening over and over. So it looks like it's going to be, somebody's going to be very generous towards you. They're going to help you out. What is the Six of Pentacles? Why is it here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Chariot. So you're moving on. You could be... Getting out of a situation with someone who works all the time. There's something here about moving forward, overcoming. Okay, guys, this is your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and take care.